everyone, my name is Ju. Welcome to Ju's Food and Garden. Today, I'll be making kalaloo and sausage. Let's go. These are the ingredients that I'll be using to make my meal today. Tomato, garlic, onion, scallion, scotch bonnet pepper, assorted bell peppers, thyme, olive oil, all-purpose seasoning, seasoned salt, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt fish, and for sure, the color loop. I'm gonna cut my um, vegetable. This is my tomato. Uh, they're all gonna place in uh, one container because they're gonna be in the pot at the same time. They're gonna be placed in the pot. Of all my peppers are pre-washed or all my vegetables are pre-washed. I'm not gonna cut my peppers yet. The onion, I'm gonna do a piece of it. So, I'm gonna do this. Now, my favorite, which is my garlic, cake cutting garlic. Let's go my cutting and my chopping. As you guys know that uh, salt fish is very salty, so therefore um, I pre-prepare it before. Um, actually, this is the it is it's in its raw state, very salty, um, not yet cooked nor anything. So I just give you an example of what it looks like before it is cooked. Um, this is the cooked one, which I'm going to clean. And it's not the boneless, this is the bone, the salt if it bones in it, so I have to debone it. So I'm gonna move over there and show you what I do with my ball sawfish. Um preparing my sawfish to clean it, and you can see this the scale and the fins. So I'm gonna try and get all the stuff off, the extra stuff that don't supposed to be there um actually this morning um i boiled the salt for three times to get the extra salt out of it and so um, usually i would have used the the boneless but i but i opted to use the the one with the bone so that's the reason why I have to be cleaning it because the boneless is kind of um, pre clean. This one has all the bones and um, skin or the scale of all this, these black thing here it's supposed to be taken out. And I'm going to try and get out uh, all the bones that I can see. But, uh...
finished product of cleaning my fish um it's not i i just mince it but it's it's not too big not too small and i try my best to take out get rid of all the um the bones that's in there but um i can't guarantee that it's all out but um um this is ready to be uh do my meal my kalalu it's also pre-done um i this is the product from my backyard garden and um i harvest it in the summer and also i store it clean it um washed it cleaned it um store it um i this is how i store it in a plastic bag a ziplock bag and this can be it stored in my fridge for in my freezer for years so um whenever you're ready to make a, a, a meal with it you just take it out of the bag like this and just pour it in the pot that's it because it's already cleaned up and ready to be cooked now i'm going to prepare my vegetable by stirring it or frying it up i'm going to place the oil in the pot and uh, let it turn the stove on and high for now because i want it to be and um, this is a very very simple and easy um, meal to be to make um, it's just that you just prep your stuff fix your salt fish you know boil the salt fish take the salt out of it and um, chop your vegetable clean your color and then uh, we're just gonna place the vegetable first in the pot and then after a little couple minutes then you place the, the, um, the salt fish and after the salt fish then the kalu you put your powdered seasoning on top of it and stir it around and there goes it let's try this okay so i'm gonna just turn the whole thing in there so as i said um the whole container gonna be tossed in there so, and let it sear for a while, or fry up for a while. And I had a little um, seasoned salt in the meantime. Good. A little seasoned salt. A lot. A little all purpose seasoning. that's very healthy 
especially it's green and um, it can be eaten it can be cooked it can be used uh, juiced and even heat raw um, so it can be used in many different ways and after consu consuming the problem you're not gonna you know feel guilty like you have eaten something that's not good for your body or you shouldn't have been eaten but you know it's something good for you. now i'm gonna place my towel in the pot so it's frozen because it was in the freezer um for from the summer frozen specifically very easily steamed so um, especially if you don't like it soggy you just uh, it's the cover let me start it on a little it's gonna um, uh, create its own Water or juice of what it what it is. It is not, so I'm gonna just cover it for a period of time, just maybe for five, ten minutes, and it should be it should be ready by then. So I'm gonna cover it for I'm just turn the fire down a little about three quarter let's see what's going on here turn the high um it's creating its own water maybe the steam a little bit more This is almost finished, but um, I'm gonna put a little uh, butter in there just to bring up the flavor. Uh, just stir it around because it's almost finished. And um, put a little bit more black pepper in there. It's almost finished. You can see my cow and my swordfish is ready to be eaten. This is the finished product of my cow and swordfish. Enjoy! A big thank you to one of my supporters who gave me this apron. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.